Howdy fellow model railroaders, my name is Kevin Brown and I want to thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. In this episode I'm going to focus on my club, the N Scale of Bloomington Normal, and our setup at the Galesburg Railroad Days train show in Galesburg, Illinois. Uh, that was a, quite fun and uh, I've got a lot of footage from that. And in addition, I had a chance to finish my corner module over there, the observatory uh, hill was what I'm going to call it now. So uh, that, that'll keep things pretty busy, this uh, video. So starting off with the Galesburg uh, Railroad Days, we had a great time. The venue is uh, a huge field house uh, that's part of Knox College that actually backs up on the uh, BNSF main line through town. Uh, so you, yeah, th with the doors open, you can do rail fanning. It was great. Um, the venue is not air conditioned, so we we're a little worried about that. But all in all, it ended up being a pretty clean, or pretty uh, cool weekend. So uh, that worked out well. Uh, I'll start off my footage, uh, show some shots of the area as a whole, and go through. There were three smallish layouts: two ends, two HO, and one uh, uh, two rail O. Look through those real quick, and I hope you enjoy the footage. Here's your next ticket number. Check your pink ticket. Check your pink ticket for ticket number 363-750. You have 750. Come up. You won the door prize. 363-750. Our concession stand is closed. So now is the perfect time to stop over at the Almond Hut and get some nuts, pick up some pecans, some almonds, some cashews, pick up some to eat here, and then pick up some more to take home and watch a movie with. problems at the venue this uh, last weekend was the uh, the uh, show runners had a set up two very large speaker systems for public announcements and decided to run uh, a radio station in the background which was actually quite loud uh, um, it, it made it difficult to, for people to talk you can see or hear some of it in uh, some of the footage I just shot uh, the second day thankfully uh, they decided not to run the radio and use the uh, announcements much more sparingly so that made for a better show it's not much fun of a show if you can't talk to people because it's too loud so anyway so uh going on from that uh there were two end scale layouts the first of which is the heritage group from northern illinois had a very large uh end track uh, layout set up and i got some footage from that and i think you'll find it pretty interesting I got you here. 
We still have some 2022 Gilles Bergerer and his most good up there in 10 dollars each. We got a few of the Under our T-Track layout, uh, we had a particularly large layout. It was very long. Uh, it had consisted of one, the red, the red line went all the way around the entire layout and was like three plus scale miles long. And there were three separate inner loops so we could have four completely independent trains running and it was pretty easy on that long red line to uh, run several trains on that too. So we had a lot of action going on. Uh, we were very fortunate. We had uh, T-Track uh, enthusiasts from all over. We had some from Omaha join us in Des Moines and Milwaukee and Chicagoland and all in all it was just a wonderful meet. Um, just I got some footage of the whole layout. I find it inter interesting. Um, things to note, uh, there was someone who had collected, uh, they're called Liberty Falls buildings and had built a series of modules which was uh, uh, winter, uh, fall, spring, and summer, and uh, those were kind of interesting. There was also someone who went and built a module with Starship Troopers miniatures, kind of a whimsical thing for kids. Uh, several good uh, uh, modules for uh, the suburban stations, things of that nature, nature, and a very, very large staging layout. Uh, so there was a lot of stuff going on in this uh, layout, so uh, I got some footage, and I, I hope you enjoy it. Yes. Fingers. Okay, I got you now. And yeah. the other one is it's right. flush. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thought. That's what I was. They're both females. So they have. Okay. See, here's here's what I did. I went through. But I got the cold. Red light, blue light, yellow white, white blue. Paddle. That is that is the part number to get the paddle. And you have to buy two different plug types. And there's the website. So this shows the plug so that you can see the inside. Yeah. The wiring, I got the plug. So the square hole plug takes the blue wire from the bottom of the gold wire. This is a really impressive yard. Uh, two 
two of the original modules for our group uh, were called uh, Men in Black and Roswell Swim, rather uh, uh, fun things for kids to watch. They were, as conceived, they were full, a very large module. There was a corner and a double all built into one. And we had some trouble with the curves on the corners and frankly it was just too big, those are just too large a modules to be lugging around. So uh, it was decided to cut them down to simple doubles and uh, I think the, the result is quite good. This is uh, the first show where we've had them as doubles, so here's some footage from that. And I'm not quite sure who left the big horse there. Who knows? Here's the loot I came away with from Galesburg. There's a guy that shows up there that I really like the trees he makes, and he always gets picked over pretty quick. So I managed to get in there early and get some of his bigger three-inch trees. I think those will go very well on the module I'm working on. And I also bought some N-scale deer. I think that would make a nice touch, too. Now, I've uh, been kind of busy on eBay and other things. I put together these four freight cars. This is the last batch of cars I need to complete my transfer job so I think these will be fit in very nicely and I've got the car cards already for them and then in a moment of extreme weakness I purchased this the CB&Q uh, Silver Streak Zephyr this will go so well on the layout I think uh, I went ahead and bought the Dakota for it too I'm going to install that that ought to be interesting uh, so I've got all that ready to go and that's uh, both of those last two things are going to be uh, for developing the operations on my layout Speaking of the layout, there's one more piece of loot or recent acquisitions that I'll have to show you there. I purchased one of these Parkview Terrace tenements. I don't know if you can see how that looks. I thought that would be a very nice uh, structure along the back wall of Blair Yard. I think it go in very well with the theme of the big factories and stuff. And it seems to me from uh, looking at it, I got room to put two of these kits side by side. And as you can see, I've got enough uh, ground space there that I can probably fence it off and, I don't know, put some people hanging laundry or something in it. So I think that'll be a nice touch to the uh, Blair Yard uh, backdrop, which means, actually, I think I only need to buy one more structure, the second Parkview Terrace Tenement, and I'll kind of be done. So that's something pretty cool. So anyway, that's all the recent acquisitions. So now uh, we'll go uh, start looking at putting the scenery on the observatory corner. Stay tuned. The first part of comp completing the observatory corner is to uh, build a, a hill to put the observatory on. I have some leftover foam core for or the uh, extruded uh, styrofoam from an earlier project. Uh, it's green instead of pink and that makes it a little less annoying. And that's the Loctite foam board adhesive I'm going to use. So I've already roughed things out. Let's take a peek. Here's the module with the roughed out uh, hill in place. I did a little uh, plan around to see if I thought three inch tall or two inch tall would look better. I like this, the look of this. I think it's very nice. Um, now I'm going to have to uh, shave that down and turn it into something that doesn't look quite so, you know, stepped. So that is the next project. Here are the hill sections all glued together. And here is the Sureform tool I'm going to use to sand it into something that looks smoother and that's going to make one heck of a mess so i've already got my shop back at the ready so time to make a mess and make this look like something here's the finished sanded product you can see it's got all sorts of contours and i think everything went together pretty well i started off using the sure former and then some 60 grit sandpaper and then some 120 to smooth it out a bit. I think this will work out just fine. I've got to go good in place on the module, let it dry overnight, and start painting it. Here's the module all painted up. And I've also masked off where the road over here is going to veer off the module. And up there on the hill where the observatory is going to sit. So uh, next step, start putting down some ground foam. Here's the module with all the ground foam in place, all nice and dry. I've made it kind of a rugged terrain. There's the space over there for the observatory and over here for the 
end of the road or the road veering off so now it's time to plant plant a lot of trees we'll see how that goes and here's the module with all the trees on it I'm glad I bought some more trees at the last Galesburg show I also installed the road that veers off let's see, you can see this and put a line of evergreens in there to kind of hide how it just disappears so really uh, about all I've got left I've got these lovely deer I've got to put in here somewhere I've got to paint that front and get everything put back together so I guess uh, next step will be the reveal here's the module all finished and in place got the skyboards back up got the observatory I wanted it kind of peeking over the trees that worked out pretty well I thought I'd put a Volkswagen with a trailer on the road going out to well on the road and I managed to remember to put a little family of deer in there so this has been a very good project, and I'm quite pleased with the way this has turned out. One last note, now that I've uh, completed the corner module, I have completed scenery, at least on the basic level, all the way from the beginning to my new module, all the way through most of Thomasboro. So that's quite an achievement. I know I've got a little more, quite a little more to do, but it does feel good to get a project done. Uh, speaking of that, I think it's time to update my project sheet. Here's my sheet all up to date. Uh, I'm very pleased. The uh, Clearly all the modules on the south end of the layout are done, and I've got a good start on those on the east end. So... Uh, Slow but steady wins the race, and that's my plan here. I think I am going to take a bit of a break from scenery and concentrate more on my operation scheme, and I'll do more about that in the next video. But this is where we stand right now. Good to get a project done, and I'm very pleased with the way this whole corner has worked out and connected everything. So, uh, yeah, that's I'm uh, very happy to have all that done. Uh, this is the part of the video where I usually talk about my group, the N-Scale of Bloomington Normal, and what we've got going on. Right now, the biggest thing, the next big thing, I should say, is August 27th and 28th, the Decatur train show, the fall train show in August. Oh, who knows? Um, that'll be our next big uh, get-together, so I should have some footage from that. Uh, other than that, that's kind of all I have for this video. I uh, hope you like what you saw. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.